During her 20-year career with the U.S. Forest Service, Renee Galliano Pop served in a variety of capacities in the American Southwest. She was a range conservationist on the Apache Sitgraves National Forest in Arizona. Then she was a botanist at the Southwest Region Office in Albuquerque, before managing the Wildlife, Fish, and Rare Plants program on New Mexico's Lincoln National Forest. During our August 2004 interview at her home in Colorado, Galliano Pop spoke about predator control that is carried out by the federal government for the benefit of public lands ranchers. I'll tell you what hurts wildlife from the grazing industry is animal damage control. The predator control is done for the ranching industry. That is what affects wildlife on a big scale, especially some of the canids, the foxes. Coyotes I'm not so worried about. But you know what's interesting about that? In my understanding, the ranchers double dip. Number one, they get lower grazing fees on public lands because they have to tolerate predators. They don't tolerate predators. They get the other agency to wipe them out. So I had a lot of animal damage control going on, um, whether it be coyotes or lions. But that's what takes a lot of wildlife. Take 10 foxes for every coyote and takes... 10 coyotes for every calf. That's an activity or an impact on wildlife that would essentially go away if we were not putting livestock. And, and, and then, you know, you get into that whole subject and you ask, well, you know, there, there are um, animal husbandry practices that can minimize losses to predators. And a lot of them, some of them will do it, and a lot of them are, why should I? You know, I've got ADC to take care of me. Why should I have to get all my animals bred at the same time so that they'll drop at the same time? Or, you know, it's pretty predictable when the golden eagles are going to migrate through and when your lambing season is and when your um, calving season is. And I'm not saying you could eliminate, but a lot of them have no interest in doing Thing, taking control of things in their own hands before they call animal damage control. They just, it's just a right. It's just a God-given right to a rancher to have animal damage control.